So hello and welcome along to another edition of Isolation Interviews. Uh, it's a neighbour special here on Hospital Radio Reading and for my YouTube channel. I'm super excited to be back and I'm super excited to tell you why I'm here uh, for this special edition of my show, The Isolation Interviews. Now, obviously, last year I did a couple of neighbour specials, uh, three to be exact, Um they went down so well and i just want to say to anyone who watched um any of the three um episodes thank you um means a lot uh, i had an absolute blast recording these last year the first one of course my guests were uh jeff payne who plays clive gibbons uh lucinda cowden who of course plays melanie pearson and uh dr carl kendy himself alan fletcher and um, then in episode two i had the pleasure of being joined by jacinta stapleton who plays amy greenwood and of course uh ben hall who plays ned willis and then episode three which i thought would be my final um neighbor special uh i was joined by uh, Candy Slask and uh, Emerald Chan. So they were just so much fun to record. Um, and of course, at the time, it was following the news that Neighbours was coming to an end. However, we now know that it's not coming to an end anymore uh, and that the show is coming back. And it meant that I got the opportunity to do a fourth Neighbours special. So over the next 20 minutes or so, sit back relax enjoy these chats that i've got uh, on the way for you because they were an absolute pleasure um to record never thought i would get the chance to make a fourth neighbor special um but here we are so a massive thank you to my guests um now i was due to be joined by five of the stars of neighbors unfortunately jackie woodburn uh, was unable to to join me um due to various sort of scheduling issues um so didn't get to talk to her but still over the next sort of 20 odd minutes minutes uh, i have some fantastic guests and i'm so excited for you to hear these uh, so coming up first the return of alan fletcher my good friend uh, dr carl kennedy um and he's also joining me and uh, ryan maloney who plays toady rebecca um they're my first guests and uh, we have a great chat. Absolutely love talking to them. Always a pleasure um, to speak to Alan and to Ryan. Um, then coming up in the second part of the episode, um, I'm joined by two more legends of the show uh, in the form of Stefan Dennis, a.k.a. Paul Robinson, and the very lovely Annie Jones, um, who, of course, plays Jane Harris. Talking a bit about their time on the show, but also, you know, we do mention as well um, the celebration tour which if you haven't seen it i do thoroughly recommend um checking it out if you can get tickets uh which is touring the country i had the pleasure of seeing um the uh show at the palladium in london which was just amazing three years in the waiting but finally got to see the show as a dedicated fan i absolutely loved it um so we'll talk a bit about that as well also just to let you know as i'm sure you will know by now but if you don't know, uh, Neighbours is coming back, as I say, towards the end of the year. I think it's sort of autumn time. We're looking at a return. It will be on Amazon Freebie. So if you haven't downloaded Amazon Freebie yet, do so. Um, because although new episodes aren't available just yet, you can start watching some old school Neighbours, some iconic episodes which are available for all you to watch. Plus also at the moment, you can binge the whole of the 2012 series, uh, which includes so much high drama and so many amazing characters. So do check that out. Anyway, without further ado, I'm going to stop talking now and I'm going to hand over to myself with my first batch of guests. And as I say, please follow, like, do all of that stuff. Um, and I'm hoping to get more Neighbours in interviews in the not too distant future so uh, keep your eyes and ears peeled for those as they come anyway without further ado i'm going to hand over to myself with uh, alan fletcher and ryan maloney so hello and welcome along to another edition of isolation interviews for hospital radio reading the legends that are alan fletcher and ryan maloney join me alan friend of the show you've been on my show a few times now how are you both finding it being back in the uk after so long because of the covid pandemic and everything and, and how have you found the tour well, it's been exceptional, Matthew. From day one, we've been overwhelmed by the support. Uh, every show is sold out. Every show is over 2,000 people screaming and, and, and loving the, all the footage and uh, the meet and greets have been overwhelming. It's kind of like... And everyone's so excited for when it's going to come back yeah, on air. Um, Absolutely. I've, I've never experienced a buzz like this. 
uh, ever. I mean, probably the last time a buzz was this big was when the Neighbours cast came over in 1989 for the uh, the, the Queen's the Royal, Journal, Command, the, the Royal performance. Command performance. Uh, and um, which we just played in the Palladium, where it was. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And, uh, and our audience was bigger. Yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was uh, fantastic. The two nights at the Palladium, we have one more left. But every theatre has been fabulous around the country. And um, yeah, it's uh, if someone had said to us, if someone had come to Ryan and us and I last uh, June when we finished our neighbours, as we walked out of the door and said, oh, do you know that actually next year you're going to be roaming all over the UK uh, playing to thousands and thousands of people on a show that's coming back? Uh, we we would never have believed it. We would, never... But I'm so glad that it's coming back because if this was the farewell oh, tour, Lord. oh, my Lord, this would be so depressing. <laughs> oh. I mean, one of the things I've noticed, I mean, I've had, you know, many members of the cast join me over the years for for chats. And in particular, when I was doing a couple of the specials, Alan, you joined me uh, for a, an episode with Lucinda Cowden and Jeff Payne. Just, yeah. just the response from people who loved just hearing from you guys. And the fans are just so dedicated to, to Neighbours. And I don't know any show that has fan base, anything like that. Well, I mean, it's that fan base that got it, you know, picked up by Amazon. That's just incredible in itself. I don't know yeah. that that's actually happened before. Yeah, Amazon saw what the outpouring of grief. They saw the the huge figures. They they saw the petitions. They saw all the online chat and said, you know, this is this shouldn't be ignored. Um, so, uh, you know, a very canny business decision as well. And it means an enormous amount because we've mm. got now 200 people plus will have their jobs back. We'll have millions millions of people around the world will have the show that they're devoted to come back uh, and we'll have the best training ground in australian tv reinstated it's it's a it's an absolute well it's, to be honest it's nothing short of a miracle mm. and and not just you know not to mention we're going to have the sexiest cast back on tv you, yes. you and me yeah that's all right yeah. is there anyone else in the show no you and me? It, the new neighbors is actually just ryan maloney and alan fletcher mm. in, in a sort of two-hander with people making guest appearances oh, I just see the, fu the funny like, thing like, is pe people mountains. would <laughs> the, fu the funny thing is people would still love that that would still be amazing um <laughs> now we have to talk about obviously the, the many storylines <laughs> we have to talk about neighbors is called neighbors the odd couple <laughs> <laughs> Now, I mean, we have to talk about the, the many amazing, you know, storylines and the one that touched so many people and was just amazing to watch was obviously Sonia's exit from the show. Mm. I mean, I, Eve Maury is just an absolute legend. Um, for, for you, Ryan, when you were filming those scenes, how did you manage to get through that? Because it just looked heart wrenching. Um, it was heart wrenching. And that's, you know, that's one of the things is you just got to sit in that place of just, you know, sadness and just let it be mm. um, and be vulnerable and, and allow people to, to see, you know, those kind of emotions and let it come out. And that's our job as an actor is, is to, is to allow that and to take audiences on those journeys, because you gotta, you gotta remember, I mean, you know, we're telling a story, but it's these, these are people's stories. These are not unique to the characters. These are, these have happened. Um, and you know, you've got to connect with people and make it real and, and, and do them justice, um, as well as the story. I mean, I so say you guys have been so lucky that you've had so many amazing storylines. I mean, obviously towards the end, the return of, um, Izzy and Malcolm and that kind of weird love relationship that obviously turned out to be false, but to, to have those, those two back must've been great fun for the final, uh, especially for you, Alan, having kind of part of your family back. Yeah, that was a little bit of genius scripting. Again, a suggestion from the cast. It was Jackie Woodburn who suggested the idea of Malcolm coming back with Izzy. Um, just a superb little, little little side story. I mean, that whole ending of the show was full of delicious side stories, my favourite being uh, The Return of Guy Pearce. Um, I think the work he and Annie Jones did for three episodes, it, it, it was just extraordinary and, and created an amazing fan moment. Um, yeah, it was, it, it was a brilliant of guy to do that, to come back and play such, such a substantial role. Uh, he's, he's laughing about it now, of course, because he said, you know, people are saying to him, what well, does this mean you're going to be yeah. in the new neighbours? He's like, you bought I'll the to, house. <laughs> yeah, and he said, well, I'll have to talk to my agent about that. Um, so, you know, that, that's, that, that's a little something that's going to have to be sorted out. But yeah, yes, those last episodes brought, brought lots of people back with delicious story, some some, you know, like Danny McPherson, just a little bit of story and others with more substantial. It was a perfect episode. 
And I mean, obviously, the fact that people can now binge on episodes via Amazon Freebie, it's fantastic. I mean, you know, I've been finding myself working through working my way through the 2012 episodes. For you guys to, to kind of know that, you know, you're going to get a new fan base from this as well. That must be quite exciting to know that you're going to reach new audiences. Oh, yeah. 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 All around the world, uh, Matthew, I, you know, I, I'm saying, saying just before that I got an email from Texas of someone who's sitting down watching Neighbours. And that it's going to be all over Canada all over the US. We don't know exactly which countries are going to have it when, but um, yeah, everyone's just being encouraged to check their providers. But more, more importantly, I, I just think that the UK audience, the, the buzz around Neighbours is so big now that I think a lot of people, uh, even people who've never watched it, will just be curious. They'll go, hang on, well, how can it be that a show is axed and then comes back like this? I better have a look at this. And I, I'm confident that the work we can do and the stories that we can create will will hook an entire new audience. I mean, is it true that Jason Herbertson literally came to your houses to tell you the news? Yes. So what was that oh, yeah. like? Yes, it was. Oh, so, it was so. hilarious. Yeah, everyone. everyone because he it. came up with like a really bad excuse to come around to all of our houses. Yeah. And um, basically, you know, like he wanted to come to the four of us and to, or, you know, essentially get us on board um, before they had to announce it. So that was on a Friday. And we had a little drinky poos on the Saturday. And then um, and then we had to like shoot the ads on the Tuesday for it to be announced on Thursday. Mm. Um, so the timeline was incredibly short. So and, and meanwhile, the WhatsApp group of, of neighbors cast is buzzing. Uh, when news came out on the Thursday that there was going to be some big announcement about neighbors, and the four of us had, of course, had to remain <laughs> silent. Tied lips, <laughs> suspiciously silent. Uh, but very exciting times and um and very and very funny to have your boss uh, walk back in, you know, months and months after you've finished work and go um, and make a little bit of small talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, oh, it's just in the area. Yeah, you, 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 no one lives in his area. He's out the bush. Um, and uh, yeah, give you a, a picture frame that has a couple of pictures, and you kind of look. You look at them and go, "Oh, thanks, well, thanks. That's, <laughs> that's kind of nice to have. I have those images, but <laughs> if they're in a frame, that's I needed there. another picture of Carl and Susan." <laughs> Yeah. Now, I mean, just before we go, obviously, I know we're, we're uh, tight on time, but, you know, send my best to Jackie. Um, yeah. Absolutely love Jackie. Um, what, what, I know you can't give too much away, but what can people look forward to on a broad sense when the show comes back? Just, they'll be, they can sit back and enjoy the fact they're getting back the show they love and the show they know. We will we'll continue to make the neighbours that people love, and that's the most important thing. Um, but there will be new people. There'll be new excitement um, and there'll be all sorts of aspects of Neighbours that people will be able to watch the show and go, oh, that's new, that's different or whatever. Just gentle, subtle things that will happen. It'll be beautiful, I reckon. Now, I just want to say it's been a pleasure. Thank you to the both of you for joining me. Um, of course, keep safe. You're welcome back anytime as usual. Um, thank you for joining me. It's a great all pleasure, right. Matthew. And Cheers, thank you. Love to all your listeners. So hello and welcome along to another edition of Isolation Interviews for Hospital Radio Reading. And I'm super excited to be joined by the legends that are Stefan Dennis, a.k.a. Paul Robinson, and Annie Jones, who of course plays Jane Harris. Thank you for joining me, for, for both of you. How are you? We're great, thank you. Great, tired yes. but great. Yes, we've been having an extraordinary time touring all over the UK. And we just did uh, two incredible shows at the Palladium in London. I mean, I mean, I was going to ask, how are you finding, you know, being back in the UK after, you know, years away because of COVID and everything? How are you finding getting back to the UK? Uh, uh, it's pretty good. It's still here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, well, the really great thing is, um, well, as you said, we neither of us have been here for a while, but um, this was a great trip for Annie in, in one special little thing because she saw snow for the first time. Snow for the first, first time, time in her life. That 56 year old, and <laughs> it's the first time I've seen snow. Yeah. So it's it's been super exciting for me. Wow, I didn't even know that. So I mean, because obviously, you know, you don't get it back in Australia. So <laughs> so to, to, we do. Yeah, we do. Thing. We've got it up in the mountains and I've been to those mountains in the summer to go fishing, trout fishing, but I've just never been in the winter. So, <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> Now, there's so much to talk about because obviously you guys have been a huge part of the show for a long time. I mean, one of the things we have to talk about is, of course, um, the fact that, you know, at the end of the the current series, Paul and Trey's got back together. Everyone loves Paul and Trey's as a couple. So were you happy that they got back together at the end? Oh, yeah, really good. It's, it, it's been an incredibly long journey with Paul and Trey's. When, um, when the... Uh, 
the producers many years ago uh, toyed with the idea of getting us together. We actually, uh, Beck and I went into the office and, and pleaded with them and said, please don't put Paul and Therese together because we love the the um, the way the relationship the was. Yeah, the friction and, and the the, um, the sparring, if you like. Uh, you know, and that's that's the kind of thing that built the relationship that the, the audience loves. That that the, the sparring partners of Paul and Therese. Um, and we said, uh, we said, look, you know, don't put them together. Anyway, the long story short, uh, they came over and did a survey, and it was it was unanimous from uh, from the fans that they wanted Paul and Therese together. So they came back and said, look, you know, we have to we have to please the fans. And we went, all right, all right. So there was that long slow burn. Finally, got them together, got married. Then they busted up again. So. To bring them back together for the final episode was absolutely brilliant, I thought. And of course, the other big fan favourite was Mike and Jane getting back together. So, Annie, for you having Guy back on the show for the final, how did you find that? That must have just been great fun. Oh, it was so wonderful. And, and we just, we love Guy so much. He's such a gorgeous, generous person. He's a great come, guy. Yeah, to come <laughs> back and, and, and be in the final episodes with us. Um, and for me uh, personally, and for Jane, I should say, it was such a wonderful thing also because Jane's been so tormented, uh, you know, the last few years that she's been back. She's always got Mrs Mangle in the back of her mind, you know, judging her all the time. And when when she saw Mike and when they had that reconnection, it's like it, it reignited her youth, you know, her, her youthful... She um, became Jane outlook. again, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, she did. He, he really brought out that um, sweet softness in her again. And uh, so that was a lovely, lovely closure for James. Yeah. Now, one of the things as well that we've noticed over the years with Paul is he has a habit of going away to find people. I mean, obviously, um, one of the, the, the re storylines recently was going to get Nicolette after the baby issues. Mm. Also, for anyone watching the 2012 episodes on Amazon Freebie at the moment, he goes off to go and find Kate in Port Douglas. So do you, do you enjoy getting these trips uh, away? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it gets me out of the studio. No, yeah, it's good fun. It's always great um, filming on a, a, a different and or exotic location, particularly when you when it becomes international. Um, but yeah, the, the 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 irony about that story when uh, Paul went up to see Kate that was that was born out of uh, a collaboration with the Queensland Tourism Fund and um, and the producers of Neighbours uh, to try and highlight how wonderful Queensland was because it'd been just after all the, the very, very heavy floods and and uh, and then there were the bushfires down south. And so a lot of the European and, and UK particularly uh, travellers were stopping coming to not just Australia, but particularly Queensland. So, uh, so they got this idea to showcase Queensland and what better place to do it but up in Port Douglas, north of Cairns. Um, and the irony was we went up there and it absolutely poured with rain for the entire week we were there oh, no. there was one day where we had a window of about seven hours where it didn't rain and the director just worked tirelessly to try and get as many establishing shots as possible <laughs> to make it look like queensland wasn't Sunny. raining all the time <laughs> i mean obviously the other the other storyline more recently getting to sort of go away a bit i suppose was the return of glenn um i had the pleasure of interviewing wow. richard um last year what has it been like having him back on the show because i know you wanted him back for a while yeah, yeah, no, that was amazing because uh, people always say that that was one of the uh, greatest pieces of casting uh, on oh, the show. Oh, you guys look so we, like. Yeah, that we actually do look like brothers, even though it, essentially we're half brothers. But um, yeah, no, that was great. That was great having Huggy back um, after all of those years because we, we'd sort of lost contact. Um, he's gone one way and I went the other way. He's and, such uh, a lovely man. But yeah, he's a great bloke. He's really good. Good fun. And the other thing as well, uh, you know, having Jane's family join the show, because obviously, you know, when you were on the show the first time, we knew Mrs. Mangle and everything. But now we're getting to meet kind of the next generation um, and, and Nicolette and obviously Byron. So are you looking forward to maybe delving more into that once the show returns? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Um, Nicolette and Byron. And who knows? I, I, I'm not sure that that... Jane doesn't have any more children. Mm. She may even have more that she's neglected to mention thus far. So, <laughs> and of course, she's also got an ex-husband, Victor, Victor Stone. So, yeah, you, you might get to meet a few more of those. You never know. I mean, that's the thing. It's obviously it's, people are so excited that the show is coming back. I being one of them, I've been a fan of the show for so long. For you guys being able to kind of give back to the fans who have supported the show for so long, bringing it back and, and you know, kind of getting 
back into it all. How do you guys feel about the show coming back and the loyalty of the fans with everything that was done with the petitions and everything online? We are just blown away by the, the amount of love that we have received while we've been in the and, UK. And it's you hit it on the nail. Extraordinary. The, the petitions are what got us. It's yes. like, again, you know, I, I can't think of another show that's ever had that type of response yeah. from fans that, that actually got out and protesting. I mean, pr protesting in front of television station. Um, and, and, you know, online and, and written petitions and all of that. It's, I mean, it's staggering. And, and as yeah. Annie said, we, we, we renamed, Annie and I have renamed this to the celebration tour. We're calling it the thank you tour thank because you we, tour. we literally are. We're so yeah. thankful to the the uh, the folk out there that love the show and love it enough to do exactly yeah. what they've done, which is bring it back. Yeah, and we're making a point of letting everybody know just how much we appreciate them, their loyalty and their love for us and mm -hmm. for the show. It's, it's, it's been so, so touching. It's not just nope. the show, is it? No, exactly. I mean, now we are limited to time. So just before we go, I want to say it's been a pleasure talking to you. I could talk to you for hours. Um, so you're welcome back any time. But before you go, what would you what do you what do you think the fans have got to look forward to? I know you can't give too much away, but going forward, what would you like to see? How would you like the show to continue? Uh, well, we can't give anything away because we don't know anything. I, I would like to see. I would like to see the show continue uh, the way it has, the way the, the way that it, it has brought those people in in the first place, which is that um, th just e each episode being a journey of, of uh, all sorts of emotions. So yeah. it, you know, we want it to stay that way. We don't want to change it at all. And we love how the characters learn something from from every experience that they have, every storyline. It always builds a new layer uh, for the characters, which is so interesting and so much fun to play. No, I just want to say, like I said, it's been an absolute pleasure. You are both absolute legends. You're welcome back any time. Um, and yeah, thank you for giving up your time for me. Thanks, no worries, Matthew. Matthew. Cheers, bud. Thank you.